BG Kumai, Genban's chief product officer. Good morning. I don't know about all of you, but after spending all day in the sun and in the humidity, I'm glad I'm in an air-conditioned hall today. So on behalf of all the product teams in Genban, I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you. Thank you very much for coming. I'm going to talk about bridging the telco divide, the transformation that's happening in our industry, and what suppliers like Genband are doing to participate in the transition. So the telecom industry over the past few decades has been a box industry. There has been a massive reliance on investment and in a variety of hardware boxes, from switches to routers, from gateways, from gateways to SBCs, you name it. And for the longest time, there has been no real options. What's worse is each box comes with a significant cost. Procurement, trialing, integration costs, vendor-specific hardware costs, and there is absolutely no commonality. So what is the problem? Let's take a look at a few. Proprietary hardware. This requires insulation per site. Custom hardware and no common commonality means high investment costs. Hardware becomes a barrier for new entrants. It blocks innovation and speed. By the way, the web world has solved that. With proprietary hardware comes space and power requirements. I think David covered those in uh, but all the challenges one has with power requirements. Capital investment is the next big problem. It causes a high cost of maintenance, duplication of sparing, and sparing strategies. And skills. And skills of your workforce is a big problem as well. With all these disparate systems, you, have, you, have, you require siloed teams to maintain and operate these systems. And that adds a lot of OPEX cost to you guys. End of life is the other problem that one, one, is, uh, one has to deal with. Speak, speaking of end of life, it is different from, for different systems. So, and this impacts the predictability of CapEx cycles, because every hardware is different and they're customized. 